the paths of chemistry right now you had for your neat exam that's how to prepare in organic chemistry so please listen carefully how i have to tell in organic because as you know that there are three parts of chemistry of course there is one more part called general chemistry also we generally include this general chemistry in inorganic or in your physical chemistry and we teach but thing is that of course better not to take the four chemistries when i put four chemistries on screen you will generally get more worried i just don't want to make that instead i made into physical inorganic and organic and the general chemistry part we are including either in organic part or inorganic part and we are teaching it so coming to the the most important suggestions for inorganic chemistry how to read inorganic chemistry the first and foremost point is line by line reading of ncert please remember that line by line reading there is no other option children there is no other option other than this you have to go with line by line and i'll tell you one more suggestion when you read ncert one page whatever content you got from that page you have to put that content on the top of your book see and every page of ncert you have some you have some um, vacant space at the top that in that vacant space you better write what all points you really gained from that you put it on the top of your paper so that once once again whenever you want to read the ncert book you need not read the whole page of that you just read the content what you wrote on the top definitely when you have come to the last end preparation definitely you will understand which part is important in that area so you put it at the top so you have to fill the gaps that means whatever the white page gap is there in your ncert book you fill with all the important points so that will fetch you when it will be while you are going for a quick revision and the next thing is in inorganic chemistry trends in all l group elements like whatever the boiling point trends whatever you have atomic size trends ionization potential in every group that is a basic question has been asked in every neat so trends means all the ascending descending orders how are the boiling points increasing how are the melting points increasing how are the oxide stabilities are increasing such things please make sure that you write somewhere in a book and put it in one place and one just before going the exam you see all the trends definitely from inorganic chemistry there are asking this trend type questions are there for everywhere okay next is to uh, chemical properties and this thing don't miss to re read uses of all the elements so yeah, actually this uses is actually what happens is when you read in inorganic chemistry you read the whole lesson at the end of the lesson he gives you some uses like for sodium potassium like that what happens is you get thug you are after reading the whole lesson you feel as yes, yes we have uh, we have uh, done a very good job reading 10 pages and the 11th page they'll be given some uses what you do is nothing but you lose that you skip that and this uh, nta people are very good at identifying in which part you generally lose your interest so please be careful with all the uses of the elements like what are the elements uses like sodium potassium all that such things uses of each and every element which is given in ncert don't go beyond your ncert whatever the uses are been there from your ncert that is copy and d and f block elements i am telling from the starting point of view it's thorough thorough reading is required and this lesson has to be read even before your go the day before your exam also that is have to be thorough reading and make sure that you people make a very simple short notes for it and that will give you a very good information from that and whichever anomaly is there there you please put it on a white paper and you keep seeing while you go to sleep also just keep on looking to that definitely that anomaly will help you in your exam and last and final important point regarding in inorganic chemistry is don't at all follow any other book other than ncert other than ncert don't look to any other book at this point of time don't look at all because once you go to inorganic chemistry there are so many other books which are giving lot many information which is not useful for you people so please follow your bhagavad gita that is you are ncert you are only the ncert part keep on following and read number of times your ncert book at the end i just tell my students also Uh, you just um, yeah at the end of the book you take for example 20 numbers you put 20 to 30 numbers you put and the moment you complete that ncert book strike one number once again you read that you strike one more number so what happens is nothing but 20 to 30 readings of ncert book from inorganic chemistry is necessary and if at all you do that i'll tell you 30 you will be definitely scoring more marks than people who are very good at organic chemistry so please don't at all follow any other book other than ncert